Right guys, so I am back from Vegas. As you have seen the Vegas video that I had done and I was very disappointed in my performance. I was very, very downhearted. Mentally, I was feeling very, very bad and physically I was feeling bad. So I've had an injury since March or April this year. Been a guessing game. I've been going to physios. I've been trying to get it diagnosed. Uh, people have just been saying it's weak glutes, weak, weak hamstrings, etc., etc. And you No, know, that's been playing with my head a lot. Um, and... Since post war stories, man, I've really struggled to kind of get my head screwed on for competitions, really struggled to kind of know what, what's happening. Every time I've been deadlifting, I have sharp pains in my back, my coccyx. And uh, yeah, I've just been trying to train and fight through it, which has been the wrong approach. So Vegas was the last straw for me. Um, I've also been working with someone called Dr. Dean, who I messaged and said, Dr. Dean, I really need help. I need someone that's a specialist in rehab, prehab, and a specialist that will help me get back to 100%. So I reached out to this guy that I'll talk about later in another episode, and uh, he said to me, you know, how what I was feeling, blah, blah, blah. I looked at a few of my lip, lips and said, go to your osteopath and uh, do some of these tests and let me know. And so I did the five or six tests he showed me, told me to do, and uh, I failed every single one of them, and he said it's disrelated. So I've got a disrelated problem on the right side. I don't know the actual name. It's like L5 or whatever it's called. I don't know. But a disrelated problem, and the nerves in my right leg, hamstring, glute, have, uh, aren't, aren't playing games either. So that's why I'm getting pain when I'm in the, the hitch position for deadlifting. That's why my kind of legs pushing outwards, et cetera, et cetera. So, yeah, all this kind of stuff of me thinking it's just been me being weak, et cetera, is kind of... I've, I've eased a wee bit. There's been a lot of weight off my shoulders. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. I'm here to talk about Glasgow Giants Live. And this is very hard for myself because, like I said, since Vegas, I've been really, really beat up. I've been really depressed. I've been not had to train and just been to myself. Like, do I want to do this? Um, is this something that I can keep going? You know, why am I not able to perform at all worlds? And this has been the reason why it's because of this injury. I now found someone that is a specialist. I've now found someone that's going to be helping me going forward. But as of Glasgow, I've sat down with my team, I've sat down with my wife, and I've talked to Giants Live. I will not be doing Giants Live Glasgow. Um, I know this is going to disappoint a lot of people. I know people have bought tickets to see myself, Luke, and you know all the other amazing athletes, but I need to protect myself now as a human. I need to protect myself as an athlete, and um, I, I just need to stop just doing competitions now for the sake of it. If I'm feeling pain and I've been feeling a lot of pain and Glasgow is in two weeks and I will not be recovered enough to go and uh, compete. The person I've been talking to, especially said there'll be no way in hell you'll be able to compete at your top of the game in two weeks time. So I've made the decision to pull out of Glasgow Giants live. I don't just want to turn up and be that 60% athlete and come fifth or sixth place and then mentally make myself even worse. Yeah, it might be good for fans to see me come fifth or sixth place and they say, you know, you've done well and stuff. But for me as an athlete, I want to be up there, you know, competing and trying to win it. I'm the, cha I'm the reigning champion of this show, so I don't want to be winning here anything less than 100%. So I made the hard decision not to compete. Luke's going to still be competing. I'm going to go down and watch Luke. You'll find out in the next episode in more detail who I've got from my prehab and training, etc., and what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this year to make myself the best possible version of myself for 2025. I'm very excited for 2025. I'm very excited to start working with new faces and I'm very excited to take myself more serious as a professional and start working with the best people that I can get my hands on. So, like I said, I'm sorry if I let people down, but I have to protect myself now. I need to listen to my body. Um, you know, I shouldn't have done Vegas. That was the kind of, the ends off for me, but yeah, you know, I've done Vegas. It was stupid and now, I'm paying the price for it. I've had this injury, like I said, for a long time. I've not had the right specialist people to look at it. Now I'm getting the right specialist people to look at it. I'm going to heal, but yeah, it's disrelated and some nerve damage and stuff as well. So once I get this healed, I'm going to be back 100% and I'm going to be ready to go. Still a lot more to talk about, like Rogue. Um, how am I going to get myself fit enough for Rogue? The guy I'm working with, what... Who is it? Who is the person I'm going to be working with going forward as well? And yeah, I'm very, very excited. Um... When Dr. Dean gave me this guy's name, I looked at him and uh, I could see he had wealth of knowledge, not just training, but in the prehab and rehab game, which is very, very important now as a professional athlete. You need to have someone that's all around and knows what they're talking about. So, yeah, like I said, I hold my hands up. 
I apologise that I will not be competing at Giants Live Glasgow. Thank you for watching. We will still see you at Glasgow Giants Live. There will still be tickets. Go support Luke, support the other athletes. Come meet us and uh, stay safe, smile and stay spicy.